Hello, my name is Carrie Neff and I am the chef owner at Coquette Bistro and Raw Bar in Society Hill, Philadelphia. Today we're doing a recipe with baby French lentils, grilled vegetables, and food and wines, best brie cheese, Ile de France brie. The first step is to cook your lentils. What I've done is I've taken my lentils and I've slowly cooked them in some water. It's about a two to one ratio, so if you're cooking uh, one cup of lentils, about, use about two cups of water. So low to moderate heat. No need to stir them. Just let them cook until the water is absorbed. Once that's done, take them out, let them cool. The next step of the recipe is to cut some vegetables. We're using green zucchini, some yellow squash, and some tomatoes and eggplant. But you can use anything that's fresh coming into the summer months right now, so there's a lot of vegetables that you can use. I'm going to cut them about a quarter inch thick. So you take a little bit of olive oil, you want to coat them, you need to season them, a little bit of salt and pepper. And now these are ready for the grill. You want to make sure you don't have too much oil on them because they'll start to flare up and they'll have that singed burnt flavor to them. If you do get a little flare up, you can always move them and shift them around. Use some of the extra oil that's in the bowl to season your vegetables. And again, mushrooms would work really well for this. Some firm lettuces and some greens like radicchio, even romaine. And you're doing more than just marking these vegetables. You want to make sure these vegetables are cooked until they get nice and soft. They're going to have to be molded. The next step for this is to get your mold. Put a little bit of olive oil inside the mold. Coat it. And take your vegetables and do a nice chop. Now that we have our fresh vegetables cut and we have our baby French lentils cooked. The next step in this recipe is to cut the brie, get the brie ready. The brie, the Ile de France brie is imported from France. It has a wonderful rind, something that we keep in the recipe. We don't get rid of that. And let's look at the texture of this. Nice and creamy and already I'm smelling the harvest, the mushroomy, earthy tones from this cheese. It's fabulous. Look at that how it's creamy. It's perfect. Mm. You want to eat it at room temperature. That's the way to enjoy this Ile de France break. To assemble this dish, you take your gratin, you can line the bottom, some of the baby French lentils, a layer of the Ile de France brie cheese, don't skimp on this, and your grilled vegetables. And just because I love the Ile de France cheese so much, a little bit more brie on top, voila! This goes into the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes. We pull it out of the oven. You can see how the Ile de France brie cheese is melted into the dish. You want to take a knife and just cut around the edges. So gently, get into your dish. You can drizzle it with some fresh olive oil, nice fruity olive oil. Some sprigs of your favorite herb. And look how that cheese, look how the Ile de France brie cheese has melted into this dish, incorporated itself in the vegetables and the beans. It's wonderful. For more fabulous recipes like these and other important information about Ile de France cheese, visit our website at www.ildefrancecheese.com.